You're watching a visual video comparison of the Forest River Georgetown XL versus the Winnebago Sightseer and Itasca Sonova. As you can see in this Forest River, uh, they mount their windshields in hard seals where Winnebago and Itasca mount their one-piece windshields like every other automotive manufacturer with non-hardening sealant. This Georgetown does not offer an inverter, which is standard 1000 watt inverter in the Sightseer and Sonova lineups. Looking at the storage compartment, you'll notice on the right hand side the fresh water tank. The probes are located on the interior of the tank, which will give you inaccurate reading. But Winnebago uses ultrasonic uh, readers that are located on the interior of your tank, which will give you accurate reading each and every time. Taking a look at this compartment when it opens, you'll notice they use a fabric strap where Winnebago uses gas struts that will actually hold open your door. And not only will it do that, but it will prevent it from hitting the storage compartment next to it. Looking into this water fill here, you'll notice that they have a city water fill and a tank water fill, which you have to unhook and uh, hook up your uh, water hose each and every time, or Winnebago actually has it all in one, where you only have to hook it up in one spot and you can decide. It's just a convenience factor. Also, you'll notice in this Georgetown, it has its dumping station located on the exterior of the coach, which will actually freeze, uh, where Winnebago has it located in a compartment. As you can see in this Georgetown, the screen door is extremely thin and is very, very flimsy where Winnebago actually manufactures all their screen doors in-house, uh, which is very sturdy and uh, durable. Uh, the TV location is actually in the slide in front of uh, the entry door, which is in a very inconvenient spot that actually sticks out away from your coach. You're looking at the Georgetown slide rooms, and as you can see, they're very sharp edges, where Winnebago has more of a rounded edge that is finished, uh, so if you do bump into it, you will not cut yourself. Uh, the TVs used in uh, this Georgetown are Toshiba, but Winnebago uses the very nice upgraded Samsung TVs throughout their coach, which are a lot easier to use. Uh, Winnebago also in every one of their doors, interior and exterior, will have a little part number so if something does happen to them you're able to get a replacement where in the Georgetown that is not an option because they do not have the numbers. Uh, the pantry that's offered in the Georgetown as you can see is a plastic, very flimsy, uh, which is actually what they used to use or they do use in travel trailers uh, where Winnebago has a nice wooded uh, pantry. As you can see they use those old day-night pleated shades where Winnebago uses the new MCD day-night roller shades which are very durable and easy to use. Looking in the closet area, you'll notice that uh, they actually have individual hangers versus a one pole that is offered in the uh, Winnebago Sightseer and Sonova, which will allow you to uh, maneuver through your wardrobe a lot easier. As you can see, Georgetown uses the large square furnace ducts, where Winnebago uses small circular ones that are actually hidden within the cabinetry and furniture. Looking on the rest of this Georgetown, you'll notice they use that old style TV antenna where Winnebago uses the jack stationary antenna. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at Litson Motors.